sentenced to eight years, eight months. I was sentenced to 16 years to life in prison. Police pulled me over. He catches me with the gun, and I was sentenced to 25 to life for it. What's the sentence you're serving? 102 years to life. There was a little anxiousness. I have that type of nervous anxiety, butterflies in my stomach. Ooh, I was, um, I was anxious. Excited and appreciative of the moment. Um, hoping that this movie will come off in a responsible and accountable kind of way. You're gonna see this guy on the film, at rate, right? At that rate, that make me a man deep. I don't know, no, I mean, you, uh, he's pretty good, yeah. but his head is this big. <laughs> That's gonna save me. I have really no expectations because I don't know how it was edited. We were really being ourselves, so they may have got a lot of things that <laughs> we maybe didn't want them to. Welcome, San Quentin State Prison. We get the opportunity to see cue ball for the rest of the world. And so cue ball is gonna roll here inside the walls of San Quentin. The perception is that once a guy's in prison, he's locked away and you won't have to deal with him no more. But that's not necessarily true. It has to be a place that offers people the opportunity to reclaim themselves. It just really brought out a lot of emotions. There was humor, there was laughter, there was joy, sadness. So it had you on this kind of a roller coaster ride. All three warriors. This is a real prison movie. This is what we're really doing in here. This is about real people seeking to change their lives and using sports and rehabilitation to do it. We're gonna hold ourselves to certain conduct. Everybody signs this contract. Without signing this contract, you ain't putting on a jersey. You guys did a phenomenal job in capturing the reality of prison, but also the humanity of the men who are here behind these walls. Today I feel great deals of guilt and regret I know I won't get those moments back. The part of the movie that hits the hardest doesn't even have to do with me. It's really Raphael's whole story. I'm even more impressed with the way they did the balance between Raphael and his victim's mother. From that moment, our life changed so drastically. I took a man's life. And so I really connected with her pain, but I hope she just finds some more healing for herself and for all the victims that have been victims of violence. Uh, that's my hope. I feel like if I can reach somebody like me, then I can save somebody like Timothy. I definitely cried when ATL got in the van and his mother and his grandmother and his family was waiting for him. <laughs> Seeing him unite, reunite with his family was such a, a powerful moment. It helped to know that possibly one day that can be me. Hey, people should watch this movie to see a, a, a different us. The individuals that you saw could be your neighbors, they could be on your block. If you actually look at it, it's not about basketball. <laughs> it's about how men change their lives from who they were to who they are. It shows that no matter what you go through, no matter what you're faced with, uh, you can overcome them. I think it opens the door for parents to have that discussion with their own kids, what's going on? How many parents haven't told their child they're worth it? When was the last time they hugged their child to tell them I love you? To me, that's why you should see this film. That's what makes this film powerful.